Today, I am going to be making the Better Than Double Tree Chocolate Chip Cookies. This recipe was written by Dorothy Kern, so I am going to put a link to her written instructions in the description below. So right now, we're gonna go over what you need for this recipe. You need a half cup old-fashioned oats, two and one-fourth cups all-purpose flour, one teaspoon baking soda, one teaspoon salt, a fourth teaspoon ground cinnamon, one cup unsalted butter melted, which this has been lying out for a while, so it's melted, a three-fourths cup brown sugar, and that's packed brown sugar, three-fourths cup regular sugar, one tablespoon vanilla, half teaspoon lemon juice, two large eggs, three cups of chocolate chips, and one and a half cups of chopped walnuts. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our oats, and I have a little mini food processor here, and we're gonna put them in the food processor um, until they get powdery. So we should be able to put, yeah, fit all of those in there. And let them get powdery. flour in this bowl. To that, we're going to add these oats. And then we're going to add our baking soda, salt, and cinnamon. And you want to stir these together, or uh, whisk them together. My butter is very, very soft, but because it says specifically melted butter, I'm going to go ahead and put that in the microwave and melt it completely, and then we'll be back. So we set the flour aside. Now you're going to take your regular granulated sugar, your brown sugar, and your butter, and you're going to stir these together. Now, we did a video where we made uh, the double tree recipe. We made those cookies. And I can tell you a difference right off is that this recipe does not require a mixer. Uh, she specifically says that she wants you to use a wooden spoon to stir this together. That you do not have to have, a no mixer is necessary. So now you want to stir in your vanilla, lemon juice, and eggs. You want to stir in your flour mixture. And it says that this might be slightly lumpy because of the oats. Now you want, uh, that's the consistency. Now you want to stir in your chocolate chips and your walnuts. Okay, I let Kevin take over the stirring for me because uh, let me tell you, you are going to get a we have a cookie sheet here with the Reynolds, uh, just a par piece of parchment paper, um, uh, which is all you need. These uh, Reynolds uh, parchment papers, they come in really handy, but if you have parch regular parchment paper on a roll, that's perfectly fine. So you're going to take a, um, uh, a fourth of a cup, and Kevin stirred it so that the... I sprayed uh, it so it won't stick. Yeah, so he sprayed it so it wouldn't stick. And you're going to take a fourth of a cup, and you're going to put that on your wow. parchment paper. How, how far apart does it say to put these? And then it says you do not need to space them. Uh, this is just for chilling. Oh. You're going to chill them at least four hours or overnight. Ah, oh, okay. To 
cover these really, really well with plastic and you want to put them in the freezer for four hours, at least four hours or overnight. So we are going to set a timer for four hours and then we are going to come back and bake these. Okay, I'm taking these, gonna uncover these. So what you wanna do is you uh, want to, uh, you have a piece of parchment paper and on a cookie sheet and you're going to move these over and you're going to press these. I press this with the palm of my hand. I test, I did one and tested it, so that's why it's already pressed down. And I, these are going to spread. Yeah, it so, says well apart. Yeah, so you want to press them just like that with the palm of your hand. And I'm only going to put six per um, cookie sheet. That one looks good. And so these are going to go in the oven at 350 for 13 to 17 minutes. It said do not over bake. The, it said that these are, are best underdone than overdone. So we're going to go to um, 16 minutes and then we'll be back. Okay, so this is how they look after 16 minutes. I think they look absolutely delicious. You can tell that this one, for some reason, just didn't have maybe all the um, chocolate chips are on the bottom. I'm sure it has a ton, um, but um, it didn't. It just didn't have as many as the other ones, or maybe we squashed it more. I don't know, but they look absolutely incredible. It does not give a uh, cooling time, so uh, I am going to move these over. We have a, a rack, a cooling rack. I'm going to move these over to the cooling rack, and then we're going to give them a try. Okay, like I said, this recipe was written by Dorothy Kern. Her blog is Crazy for Crust. And uh, so I had looked up the recipe for the uh, Double Tree Signature Cookie and I found it and then this must have been around there somewhere. And so I wanted to try it as well. So it does, like I said, it doesn't give a cooling off time. So these are like, fresh out of the oven. They'll probably be very, very hot. And I always like to let mine cool just a little bit. And I but, don't. But the stone mouth over here that can eat things that are molten lava doesn't have a problem. Uh, she said they're better a little underdone. Very hot. Do you taste the cinnamon? No, I don't really taste the difference. I, I don't taste the um, walnuts either. See, I've got a big walnut now. And I taste the cinnamon. Not a lot. Say. Not a lot. But I do like that an awful lot. Mm -hmm. I like the size of it. I like the size. The texture is good. Um, since these are still warm, mm -hmm. the chips and stuff are all still gooey. Mm -hmm. Whereas, um, I mean, they're very, very good. Mm -hmm. Definitely worth it. Now I got, I got a couple of walnuts that time. They're, they're, yeah. You can really taste them. When we made, right before this video, I put out the us making the double tree cookies. And they specifically tell you to wait an hour. Mm -hmm. Put them on the cooling rack and wait an hour. These do not have any cooling mm -hmm. off time. So there's so definitely a different in difference in texture. Yes, there's a difference in texture, but I think there's a difference in texture regardless just because you made these different. Yeah. Um, so I think these are good. I like them. I like these too. I think they're very good. Now, the double tree recipe, I said at the end of that recipe, if you watched it, at the end of that video, I said we're going to be comparing the double tree cookies to uh, these better than double tree cookies. So uh, the double tree cookies, their recipe, they did not give you a size scoop. It just said scoop. So Dorothy gave you a size, she told you to use a fourth of a cup 
uh, but uh, her cookies made 21 cookies. Uh, her recipe, her recipe made 21 cookies. The Double Tree was supposed to make 26. So I can only assume that you would what? Probably about the same. About the same, because I probably got more than a fourth of a cup with some of these, the bigger ones. Mm -hmm. I probably was over a fourth of a cup in a lot of them. So it's it's probably would have made around 26 if I'd been dead on a fourth of a cup. Right. So this is the double tray. I think even though these are cooled off quite a bit warm, um, I think the texture is a little tighter. Mm -hmm. um, like it's not as loose. Right. <laughs> They're a little tighter texture, but I taste the walnuts in this so much better more. I don't know why that is. And then you do in this one? Yeah, because after eating half of that cookie and got getting pieces of walnut, I can get this walnut flavor on almost every bite. Right. That makes no sense because they have the same amount of walnuts in them. She had you use more cinnamon in hers. And um, I'm pretty good at picking up cinnamon. Yeah. And no, I taste the cinnamon. I don't get the cinnamon. Well, the double tree, I didn't taste the cinnamon at all. Mm. But. No, I don't get cinnamon for The double one. tree tells you to use a pinch. So let me tell you the differences. The, the, the recipes use the exact same amount of brown sugar, the eggs, the flour, the baking soda, and salt are all exactly the same. Uh, the Double Tree didn't tell you what kind of butter to use. So they didn't say use regular butter or unsalted butter. So I use regular butter because they did not tell you. Dorothy's recipe actually told you to use unsalted. So I use unsalted butter. The Double Tree recipe had you use a three-fourths cup and one tablespoon of sugar. Dorothy had you use in just three-fourths cup of sugar. Um, Double tree is one and a fourth teaspoon vanilla, whereas uh, Dorothy's was one tablespoon of vanilla. Uh, double tree had you use in a fourth teaspoon of lemon. Dorothy had you use in a half teaspoon of lemon. Which I don't know what difference that makes. No. The oats uh, in the double tree, you used them just out of the package. Uh, Dorothy had you chop the oats up. We pulverized like, those. Yeah, in a food processor. Right. The double tree had you use in a pinch of cinnamon. Dorothy had you use in a fourth teaspoon. Uh, I did teaspoon. get a little more of that cinnamon in that uh -huh. one I just ate. Double tree is two and two thirds cup of Toll House uh, morsels. Uh, Dorothy was three cups. And then double tree was one and three fourths cup of walnuts. And Dorothy, uh, that was double tree. And then Dorothy was one and a half cups of so walnuts. So there's actually more walnuts in the And the double room. tree. No. No, the double tree had one and three fourths cup. So there's a little bit more walnuts. A, a little bit, a few more walnuts in the double yeah. tree. So maybe that's why you tasted Could it be. a little bit more no, no. too. Um, the difference, the big difference was how you made them. You made them completely different because double tree, you are using a mixer. And the, uh, the, yeah, the double tree. And there's no wait time. You go from mixing them to putting them on the, the cookie sheet and you're baking them immediately. Yeah. Dorothy's... And you use a electric mixer. You use a electric mixer. Dorothy's, you're doing everything by hand, but you're waiting four hours in the refrigerator. For, so, for a month. Yeah, so you have to wait either four hours or overnight to refrigerate them. But now double tree, you do wait an hour for them to cool. So you have to take in time for that too. Whereas Dorothy's, you didn't have to wait any time at all for them to cool. I'd say so, the, the biggest difference in the texture that I got that little tightness for the original, the double tree one, um, could have been because you used an electric mixer in there and it tightens things up a bit more. Mm -hmm. That's why they said in the, in the recipe, make sure you don't over mix. But it's right. really hard to know if you're over mixing or not with you using an electric mixer. So you may go over a little bit more as far as mixing goes, where if you're doing it by hand, it's so tough to mix them. You're not going to mix it any more than you have to. Right, <laughs> right. right. I'm done. <laughs> I, mean, I do like Dorothy's. I, I do too. I, I like her recipe a lot. I think good. it's very good. For me though, I would rather make the original double yeah. tray. The, my biggest reason is the prep time and, and the things you have to do is just a lot quicker. 
It with is the double tree and the flavor is really not much different. Um, I'm gonna be honest, the cinnamon, I would rather not have all that cinnamon. Oh really? Take that takes away to from me. You. I don't want the same. Yeah, see, I don't get a lot of it anyway. Yeah, to me, I really I love the gooey, I love the, the size of it. If I were to make hers again, I would I would not use all that. I honestly I would leave it out completely. Yeah. I don't think you need it in either one of these Probably recipes. Not. I don't think but you need it. But if you were to make the double tree again, you would make a bigger scoop. So they yes. would be the same they size. Would they the would be the same size. Yes. Yeah. So I would honestly, I prefer the double tree, and I like it that there's no waiting time. Yeah. You don't have to cool wait them and, and cool them and cover them and all that stuff. Yeah, so I, I would just prefer the stick. I just think they're easier for for somebody doing this at home. Most people don't want to wait four hours for them to right. to firm up in the refrigerator. <laughs> so. I would just prefer the double tree, okay. but I, I love trying both recipes. I think Dorothy's recipe is very good mm, as well. It's, it's excellent if you want to try. Yeah. So I hope you all really enjoyed the video. Let me know if you make either one of them and thanks for watching.